recently here on the YouTube channel, we showed you a really cool trick on how you could use the adjustment brush to make some light rays. But I had said during that video that that trick was not necessarily only to make light rays, that there were other ways to use that same trick and to go ahead and have some fun with it. Well, we received a comment asking us to show you maybe another way that you could use that same trick in a different photograph. So today we're going to do exactly that. I'm going to pull up another photo and show you how to use the adjustment brush in the same way, but on a different photo altogether. So let's jump into Lightroom and show you exactly what it is I'm talking about. So here we have a picture of some mountains, and this is a completely different image than the one in the light rays video. The light rays video had a bunch of trees, there was sunburst and that kind of stuff. And in this video, we just have this vast landscape with some mountains in the background. And when you look at this particular image, it almost, at least in my mind, looks like uh, a stack of pancakes. And what I mean by that is it's really got some distinct layers. Um, if you look at it here, We've got the bottom section of this photograph, which is the foreground element, the bottom part. That's one layer. Then we've got the mountains, which are another layer here where the mountains are in the center. And then you have the third layer, which is the sky layer. And so when I'm looking at something like this, it's quite possible that I would probably decide to edit this picture in three separate parts. And so for the, for the first part, I might use a graduated filter to uh, edit the bottom half of this picture, um, something like this. And then I might make a new adjustment for the sky and, you know, make some adjustments that might look something like, you know, something like this, where I add a little bit of clarity and maybe saturation or whatever. And so the top part of the picture has been edited with one tool the bottom picture has been edited with that same tool but the middle part the mountain section in the middle of this photograph is kind of being left alone and the only way to really tackle that middle section of the photograph that goes all the way across from edge to edge is to use something like the adjustment brush in particular to use it in a similar fashion than we used with the light rays tool. Let me show you what I mean by that. We're gonna set up one brush just like we did before. And what I want is this brush to be slightly a little bit larger than the mountains in this photograph. So something that looks a little bit like this. You can see where the, radi the, the, the adjustment brush, the radius of the adjustment brush actually covers the mountains into the sky and into the foreground. Then what I'm going to do is go to the edge, just pick a side, whether it's the left side or the right side, it really doesn't matter. But I'm going to pick uh, the left side and I'm going to click one time. And then I'm going to hold my shift key down. I'm going to go to the other end of the photograph on the opposite side. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold my shift key down and click. And just like that, you can see how I've got this strip of adjustment that's going to be applied to the middle of the photograph. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Now, this adjustment as it stands right now is god awful because my exposure is set to four. So let's just hold our option key down, which will change the word effect up here to reset. Just by holding option, I can click the word reset one time and that'll set all of my numbers back to zero. So now that my selection has been made, I can go in and now make the necessary adjustments to make this mountain range look exactly the way I want. So for this photograph, I'm going to maybe pull some clarity up, maybe add a little bit of dehaze, maybe pull up uh, my whites. I don't know, I'm going kind of fast here, maybe my highlights, maybe maybe a little bit of contrast, and maybe even some sharpening or something like that. And then I can even play with saturation to get the, the color just right. But all of these adjustments that I've just made, if I toggle this adjustment on and off, you can see are only affecting the mountain range in the center because it's a completely separate independent adjustment. The trick though was the shift key, to hold the shift key down 
and click on one end and the other end and boom you get this adjustment that's straight across all the way across the photograph and if I want to take that uh, one step further when I turn this overlay on I can always go to the eraser and get rid of any part of the of this adjustment that got applied I could just go in here and erase it and take it out and uh, so you can you know spend hours getting getting this perfect not hours but you know spend a couple minutes getting getting that perfect you know I just talked for about 30 seconds and boom you know that's out and then you can refine it however you want to but there you have it there's another example of the way we used it for the light rays and this particular example instead of using uh, one that was you know at this at this weird triangular angle we used uh, an adjustment that was actually an even keel across the middle of the photograph just by holding the shift key down so hopefully you found this useful go ahead and give it a try like i said experiment with it experiment's going to be your best friend for learning and practice you're never gonna get good at these things without practice so practice experiment have fun with it hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel where we'll have lots more episodes coming to you soon and until then my name is adam this is photo nerds i'm out